Hi guys, I decided to make a video showing you what I am making at home for my makerspace area in the classroom. I made a sign for my classroom so the students know which is the makerspace area and so that anyone that walks into my class knows that that is important to us. I am into coding, design thinking, makerspace, genius hour. I was looking online and I came across a website that had a wonderful makerspace area. Her name is Brooke Brown and she has the website Teach outside the box. I saw her sign and I knew right then and there that I had to make it. She was wonderful. She basically explained how she created and what she bought to make that sign. So let me tell you what I did to make it. So throughout this video, I will post photographs to show you the finished product and some of the materials I have used. Let me begin by telling you what Makerspace is. A Makerspace is a place where students can create, invent, tinker, explore, and discover using a variety of tools and materials. Please do not feel that you need the latest technology equipment to have a makerspace area. You can have materials such as cardboard, duct tape, regular arts and crafts material. I want to have an area in my classroom where my second and third grade students can go to this creative exploration center. If your school does not have a makerspace room, you can create an area in your room. There are many websites and books explaining how you can go about creating this type of space. So let me tell you some of the materials that I use to create the sign. So I have a letter here and as you can see in the back, it's basically paper mache letters. It's the jumbo size. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. I think it is 13 and a half inches tall. So go check out Hobby Lobby, Michaels, AC Moore, or any arts and crafts type of store. Now it did cost me $3.49 at Hobby Lobby, each of the letters. So I would take advantage when they are like 50% off. So like I said, they're basically paper mache and what I did was I spray painted them but I know that some people use acrylic paint it is up to you what you want to use you will probably save money with acrylic paint but I just wanted to paint them rather quickly so I guess you could choose any color I chose black for the background there are various materials you can use various paints you can use for the letters. I used a hot glue gun. And you just use ordinary material that you may have at home. Definitely check out your classroom. You will most likely have quite a bit of arts and crafts supplies in your school or in your classroom that you can use. Here's one in which I use buttons. And many of these items I bought at Dollar Tree, Walmart. You can save a lot of money by going to the dollar store and seeing what they have there. And whatever was left over, I plan to bring back into the classroom. Here's another one. I used the Target building blocks. I used a bag and a half. Now remember, each bag was a dollar at Target. You can use many materials. Let me just read from a list which has some different types of materials you can use. You can use popsicle sticks. I used markers, feathers, straws. I used plastic spoons. You could use toilet paper roll, wooden spools. It's up to you what you can use. I've seen Brooke Brown use PVC pipes. Just use anything that it can make it clear to anyone that walks into your classroom and to your students that that is an area in which you use many different types of materials to create and explore. So the first thing I did was I spray painted them all black. Then once it was dry, I hot glued everything on there. It did not take me as long as I thought it would. If you want to speed up the process, I would recommend using larger items. The one that had the beads, the wooden beads, took me forever. It took me a long time. So if you do want to speed up the process, just use larger items that you can hot glue on rather quickly. Now Brooke stated she used thumbtacks. I cannot use thumbtacks 
on my walls. I bought the Command Hooks picture hanging strips to hang the letters, which is more expensive. So I guess it depends on your building and what is allowed and not allowed and the type of wall that you have. So you decide. But I know that Brooke did say that she used thumbtacks. I am going to use these picture hanging strips. So please make sure to hit like below so that other teachers can see this video. I mainly created this YouTube channel to help other teachers create young innovators. So please make sure to hit the like button so as many teachers as possible can see this video and hopefully they can create a makerspace area in their classroom or in their school.